I never thought I'd go back to it. Yeah, that would be nasty. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. Oh. For a while, I wandered. I just look for the I started seeing text bubbles. Things. There's a stag. That thing just broke its neck looking back at me. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. What a bed frame? When I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Huh? Or maybe I came back to them. All right. This is very strange now. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and eat it. What are you doing in here? I'm reading a book. Mine. Give it. Monster, no, you're gonna rip, rip it. it. Let go. Give it. This is mine. I kicked and screamed, but mom dragged me to the car. That was my present. I'm angry. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Hey, Grandma. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already. Oh, she, yeah, alcohol and prescription After meds. Moved around a lot. Yeah, even the controller's vibrating. Perfect. I'm we glad I'm playing with the controller right now. Wee. A few years went by. Oof. My mom didn't like to talk about it. Blow on it, it's easier. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Oh, this is what happened to mom. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Whoa. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Wait, what? Oh, see, I'm not Edith. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Am I being born? It really feels like this is contractions and I'm being pushed through a tunnel. I feel like I'm being born. You can hear multiple heartbeats. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I well, guess did I... you're reading this now. I guess I did read it all. Things didn't work out that way. TOS! This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot oh, to ask. Not. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. 
I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Who am I? Oh, no. Is that my mom? Dude, that house is jank. That is a safety violation. Aww. Oh. Oh, how cool! It's their child childhood pictures. Of the, the dev team. Or not just the dev, the whole, I don't know, studio, I guess. That's clever. Everything ends. Okay, so was I playing as Edith that whole time? And then that that boy at the end was because they said I was 22 weeks pregnant. So I, I'm thinking that you were playing as Edith the whole time you were pregnant. You gave birth to that baby. And that's when she said, I guess, maybe two finches alive. And, um, he's, he's probably the only finch alive now. Man, that game was way darker. Like, I shouldn't say way darker. I wasn't expecting a dark game at all. I thought it was just going to be a story walkthrough adventure kind of game. But that game was dark. Holy crap. Don't be a finch. Slowly fade in of a... Uh... Thanks, Johan. Who is Johan? Oh. Crap. There was a... A, a credits named Johan. Is it because I'm watching the credits? It's just giving me achievements? This was a very clever game. All the little weird puzzles and stuff. No, I, I really love that giant well thing, but I did not like that part in the game. That was awful. That was probably the darkest one. You never leave a baby unattended in the bathtub. That was a great game. I actually really liked it. It was very dark. Oh, look at that baby picture. That's adorable. Are the childhood pictures getting... Are they getting younger and younger? They look like it. Oh, no. He looks a little older. Oh, dude. Can of peaches. Dude, I'm really craving peaches now. I'll tell you that. Annapurna Interactive. Look at her. She tough. That was her son, yeah. Yeah, everyone. No, these are these are the. <laughs> did all these kids die? Uh, these are the um, the game makers. And that's just their childhood photos. Look at the quads. Yeah, at first I was like, no, don't tell me all these kids died. Oh, that's cool. They have uh, some love for the playtesters. That's really cool. Give them the little books. What are these ones for? Trick or treat, smell my feet. Scared for life too. Enjoy, thank you. Loving memory of Lewis Finch. The Edith Finch team. Oh, that's cool. Wow, they worked on this for five years. The end, nice. Clever. The replay a story option is now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. So did did maybe I miss some?
No. Okay. So I don't know why you would replay a story. Maybe if you just didn't understand something, maybe? At a later date or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm on my PlayStation, so it's a whole different setup here. But holy crap, that was, um, What Remains of Edith Fitch. Finch, see, I keep calling it Finch. Turn off. Turn off, there you go. I always forget how to do that PlayStation 4, but that was, um, that game was very interesting. I was not expecting that. Um, what is that noise? Holy crap. Um, also, I'm going to switch it to my TV so I can hear it. Um. Crimson Rose! What the hundred British? Let's get them down with some big old treaty for that. That was a good game. I'm, I'm glad you, you liked it. That Those are out. Hold up. Get them big old treaties here. Hold on a minute. Oh, I'm almost dropping all my keyboard here. Say Crimson Rose! Thank you for the hundred biddies. I appreciate it. Yum yum yum. Delicious. Good stuff. Don't throw it up after I give it to you. you swap like chew it up and then swallow it, you turd. But but um yeah, so wow, we're perfect at time here. Um so tomorrow I think we're gonna be playing um Oh, what? It's like the dishwasher vampire smile or something like that. I think that's what it's called. It's like a, a fighter, 2D fighter, something side scroller thing. And apparently it's got a pretty good story. And it's based off of an older game like um, the dishwasher samurai death or something like that. And I looked that up and it's an old game and it's only for Xbox. So, and from what I understand, you don't need to play the first one to really un understand anything. It's just more of like, oh, it's another kind of game like it. Um, so I picked it up, had good reviews, and it looked interesting. And it seems like, or this one tied, or Edith Finch, Finch tied with that one. So we'll be picking that one up and giving it a checkout. Um, I'm interested in it. Um, this game was shorter than I thought it was going to be, but I'm glad we did it. And it took up the full play time. Oh, man, I'm so... Excuse me, Yanni. And I found out today, um, Indi Indivisible uh, finally got released on Steam for purchase. So, in it, because it has an official release date now. So, I went ahead, and went ahead and picked that up and scheduled scheduled an event on Twitch um, for its release date. Because I'm super looking forward to it. I loved the art and the attacks and the sounds of that game were awesome uh, in the demo. I wish I knew about it when the Kickstarter was going on because I totally would have kickstarted it. It was aw it's awesome and I'm, I love it. I loved the, the prototype demo. Um, I wish them all the best and I hope. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. With I'm very tired. Um, I can't wait to play it. I should say I, I wish I knew about it on Kickstarter. Because that would have been great. I like kickstarting really fun games and when they make it that makes me even more excited like that Helvetti game it's really close to making it and I hope it does I even upped my pledge because I, I liked that game so much so um anyways my friends I need to go to bed I'm very tired I was up to four in the morning this morning because I, I couldn't sleep I couldn't fall asleep for some reason so now it's coming and rushing me and hit me like a ton of bricks um so I'm gonna go pass out and uh well, that's a lie. I need to eat something first. And then I'm going to go pass out, I hope. And then have good dreams and good sleeps. Uh, excuse me. And tomorrow, uh, we'll get that game up and running. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get that installed. Now that I'm up right now, so I can have it all ready for tomorrow. Um... Oh, that's because I'm on a different scene. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. It's fine. Um, but anyways, my friend, thank you so much for tuning with me. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Let me get some of the shout outs going on here. Uh, let's get up here. Crimson, thank you so much for the three month support. I greatly appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support of the channel. Uh, whenever you get a address nailed down uh, let me know and I will send you out your uh, sub rewards as appreciation and thank you also for the bits Yuri thank you for the bits as well as gutless and birch you guys are amazing as well thank you guys 
for your continued support. Jada is looking at me like, I heckin' know what time it is. It is my dinner time. I'm gonna get some foodies. That's the bestest foodies. Oh, you, people can hear you grunting. Do you know that? They can hear you grunting. I love your face. I love your face. Get them. Hello. We're doing. Ow, you're stepping on me. I can't see nothing. I can't see nothing. I'm trying to type things. Dishwasher Vampire Smile. That's the name of it. What are you doing? You're, ow! You're flinching. You got hiccups or something? Get that belly, get that belly, get that belly. Boo. Mwah. Hi. What are doing? What are doing? Yes, I know. It's bedtime. But first, it's your dinner time. That's what you're saying. Yes! I want my foods. That's my favorite time of the day. Besides breakfast, which is my other favorite time of the day. Huh. Anyways, my friend. I keep saying friend. Been leaving out the S. My nose was kind of stuffed because of uh, allergies. But thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for tuning in with me. Uh, remember to spay new deer pets, adopt dope shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out there very much you need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. Thank you for tuning in with me. This one's Jada. Mom's down there chomping on her toy. Uh, thanks for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Mwah! Get him, boo!